I came to the racetrack uh, in 1958 with my dad when it opened. I was born in Gladstone, yeah, on the farm. For, I've had my training sites for 45 years. My dad was farmed in Gladstone. He, when he came, my dad was in the First World War. He, he spent four years overseas. And when he came home, he took over the family farm, which, which my grandfather had homesteaded in 1872. And that's where we still live, on that farm. And, and uh, needed something to do, and he, and he always liked horses, because my Uncle John had horses. And he got into racing horses, and he, we've raced horses ever since. A horse has always had an attraction. Every year in the fall, back in Gladstone, they have a horse sale at the auction mart. You can't get another person in the building. It's jam solid just to come to a horse show, or to a horse sale, you know. It, they wouldn't be that many to us to the, to the horse show, but to a horse sale, they just, they just, they just packed the place. My favorite horse is Dorothy's Delight. Dorothy was the last horse my dad was the breeder of, and she could run pretty decent. She, she beat every good horse on the grounds, but she never could beat them all at once. She ended up winning eight races, and you know, she made about $35,000 going back 40 years, and, that's with quite a bit of money. I've never won a stake race. I, I've come the second a couple of times, the third a couple of times. And, and probably if I'd have had a better trainer, my horses would have won a stake race. People around the racetrack are, are good people. They're nice to get along with, easy to get along with, I think. Like, like Steve Thompson, who just retired as the uh, maintenance man here, him and I have been very good friends for about pretty near 40 years. And we've been stable beside each other for 40 years. The Dollars, they were here when, when I first came here. We bought a horse off of them in, 50, in 1951, I think, that we raced in Polo Park. And, and Ardell Sailor, he was, Ardell Sailor was Ardell. He knew, he, he, he would help you if he could, he would help me out anytime I wanted the, an answer for something, he would help me out. Doc Elder, how much, how could you ask for a better guy than that? Like he's, he's been here forever too. Oh, one of my favorite memories over the years was the day that uh, Mary's Jay won the Derby. He was a man of Toba bread and it, he had no connection to me, but he being a man of Toba bread and, and when, when he headed for home in front, it was probably the biggest crowd I ever, or the biggest cheer I ever heard. I guess I was probably in the grandstand, but it was just one roar that went up. You know, it's a big deal to me because basically I'm a homer. I cheer for my hometown. Mary's Jay, I, you know, to me, I just, just remember him so special that uh, I don't know whether he was the best one or not, but he was, but then they brought some of them in from the, to Ontario that were awful nice horses. You know, over the years, there have been an awful lot of good riders come here, like uh, Larry Bird and Tommy Atkins, and uh, the, old, the old policeman from Gladstone, Raymond Stewart. He won the first gold cup here. My favorite jockey was, had always been Kenny Hendricks. He'd, he'd ridden for dad, and it didn't matter what we ran, Kenny would ride one of our horses, even though he maybe should have rode somebody else's that was better, but he always rode for us. I think the people at Assiniboy Downs, they, they've treated us more than fair, you know? They, they, to give us a place to race, sure, we put on the show, but they supplied the, plot, the facilities, and, and over the years, they've been very, very good. These people are like a family, a big family. You know, how many times a, a person's got hurt? And we have a social for them, we, they raise money for them. And, and, and everybody chips in to keep everybody going, and nobody nobody likes to see anybody get hurt, you know. Every and, and you, you watch races, and you, you always want to see somebody win. Now, sometimes I like to see them all get beat, but that's not, that doesn't happen. But you know, you, you like to see people win, and you like to see certain horses win. The horses look you look into a horse's eyes, and they just look right back at you, you know. And, and they, they're, they're calming, I think. Uh, Good thing that they are coming because I can get wound up pretty good. Uh, they, they, they give you something to do. They give you a reason to get up in the morning. You get up in the morning, go feed them. Yeah. Every morning we come down together and she cleans the stall. I put them on the walker and get them saddled. And now Here they, comes Judy. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for Judy, my lifelong companion. She does lots of work around here and, and, and I wouldn't want to be here without her. It's, it's just it's just a partnership and we get along good. I do what I'm told. <laughs> what the hell? Can't beat life.